So this video is all about building our own AI chatbot assistant to which you can ask any of your voice or vision based questions just like this. Jarvis Hello, how can I brighten your day today? What's the weather today in Gujarat? Gujarat today with a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The humidity is quite high at 73%, so it might feel a bit muggy outside. Hey Jarvis, take a photo and tell me what is this? It's a black camera lens, sleek and professional, likely used for high quality photography. Isn't that super interesting and super fast as well? And the best part, the AI cloud platform that we are using here, maybe for speech to text, text to speech or LLM is available for completely free of cost and we don't even need to provide our credit card details. So this is running on Xiaoqi AI firmware which is kind of becoming very popular day by day, not just because it's available for free of cost but also it got very low latency and got lot of customization option. And in this video, I want to teach you how to use that firmware into our Unihiker K10 board which I think is the best and the most affordable hardware for our AI projects. So now let's move on to our computer and see from where we can download this firmware but after this really short ad. So this video is sponsored by LTM and we are all familiar with their secure collaborative design platform LTM 365 but let me tell you one of its really interesting features. So with the integration of Silicon Expert, now you can visualize all the important parameters of the components all in one place. Let me show you a quick demo. In LTM 365, just go to the manufacturing part search option. Here, you can search for any component you want to use. Just click on get data from Silicon Expert and it will pull all the crucial parameters of the components in one place. Below that, you'll also see a suggestions for alternative components along with the ratings on how well each one suits a direct replacement. Pretty interesting, right? And now if you're a student from India, well, LTM has launched LTM Student Lab where you can sign up with your university email ID to get access to LTM 365 online courses and can even get certification directly from LTM. And this will definitely help your resume to stand out and will give you a great boost in your design career. Well, I'll be linking away all the important links down to the description, so be sure to check them out. Okay, so now let me show you from where you can get the Xiaoqi AI firmware for a Unihiker board. For that, you need to go to this particular page from DF Robot website, whose link I'll attach in the description of this video. And when you scroll down, you'll find this uh, uh, Xiaoqi AI firmware with different different version. You can download the latest one as of now it is 1.8.5 on this website. You can just click here to download it. And after downloading the firmware, you need to download one more thing, which is the Flash download tool from Asperger System. Now this is available for just Windows system, so you need to have a Windows computer to you know follow this step so you can just click on this particular link it will redirect you to the aspressive website and later you can just uh, click on the download button and it will download the flash download tool in my case i have already downloaded it. so now let me show you how we can flash with this particular tool okay so first of all i'll open up this flash download tool and uh, i'll run this uh, application file okay and here inside the chip type we need to select esp32 s3 okay and load mode is uart click on ok now make sure the Unihiker K10 board is connected with your computer via Type-C data cable and after that I'll just click on this three dot and we'll select the firmware file that we have downloaded. So here is that uh, dot bin file, I'll open it and he'll I'll give the address as 0 cross 0 0. I'll just check mark this box. Later, uh, here I'll select the right COM port on which the board is connected with. First, I will uh, erase the flash of the ESP2 S3 chipset. So I'll click on the erase button and let's wait for a couple of uh, seconds. Okay, as you can see, it is finished. So we have successfully erased the uh, flash. Now we can just click on the start button. It will start flashing this particular firmware onto our device. Okay, as you can see, it started flashing and it may take a couple of seconds. So let me just skip this part of video. And here it says finish. That means we have successfully flashed the firmware onto the Unihiker K10 board. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step where we will learn how to configure the Unihiker board onto the Xiaoqi AI cloud platform. So now to configure our Unihiker board on the Xiaoqi AI cloud platform, uh, you can use any of the computer because now we no longer need to interact directly with the hardware, but everything will be done onto the cloud side. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to the website xiaoqi.me on your computer and here you can just click on the console button. 
Now here you need to log in and uh, you can also log in with your Google account in case if you are worried about providing your details to a Chinese a website well you can create another secondary Google account and log in with that so I'll quickly log into my account Perfect. So I am inside my account and now we are good to go to add the device. But before we can add the device, we first need to connect our UniHiker board with internet. And how to do that? Well, first we need to connect with the hotspot created by this UniHiker board. So I will go to my computer and connect to the hotspot created by this board, which is okay. So here is the hotspot. So I'll uh, connect to it. And later in the new tab, I'll open the address 19. Okay, so it already popped up a new window. So here I'll provide the SID name and password of the Wi Fi router. And later I'll click on the connect button, it will send this credentials to this device, and uh, hopefully it will get connected with the internet. Okay, checking for the new version. Please log into the control panel to add the device. Enter the verification code. Perfect. So it already connected with uh, the Wi-Fi network and it gave us a activation code which we need to provide in the shaochi.me uh, website. Okay, so I'll connect back to my Wi-Fi router. And after that, here in the agent management, you just need to click on add device and it will ask for the verification code. So I'll enter the verification code 120320. Okay, so the device is successfully added and now here we are getting the two different versions. One is the open source version and other is the official version. As of now, the official version is unavailable. I don't know if it is unavailable in India or maybe it's unavailable across the globe. I'm not sure about it. But yeah, the open source version or kind of the free version is still available for use. But uh, it has come uh, some of the limitations uh, which I'll mention here. And the limitations are very basic. Like we can may, we may experience the delays or reduced speed during the peak hours and it has some limitation in the advanced features. But it's okay to use this open source or free version for showcasing your project or, or creating a prototype, stuff like that. So click on start using and uh, yeah here is our device now in this device we can add or do some uh, customization as well for example if I click on configure role button here I can give assistance a name dialogue languages voice uh, different different voices I can do everything let me show you uh, step by step so I'll give this assistance uh, assistant a name as Jarvis so here we can uh, choose from different languages like uh, yeah, Chinese English and also do we do have a Hindi language as well so as of now I'll go with the English language and in the English language we have these many you know text-to-speech model options available so we can uh, listen to them as well hey everyone i'm a girl who really loves to do meditation when i sit down cross okay so anyways and focus on uh, stop yeah anyways you can listen to them and uh, choose the best for you i'll keep the default one only here the, we have to provide a role introduction now this is an interesting thing we can not just create an AI chatbot, but we can also give a dedicated, a specific personality to uh, our AI chatbot according to our choice. Maybe we can uh, make it act like a friendly robot, a friendly chatbot, uh, a bot that cracks the joke all the time, a bot who is like kind of a baby or any kind of role or any kind of personality you can give to him you can make it uh, a short tempered personality make it uh, you know bubbly personality make it a cheerful personality anything you can give okay so here i'll type uh, the statement uh, as uh, you are a friendly chat bot i just uh, written this particular thing and later i'll click on ai optimize button which will optimize the single line into detailed uh, word by word uh, statement that will you you know let this uh, uh, bot know how to react to all the questions I ask okay so let's wait for that perfect uh, so we got kind of prompt to create our AI uh, assistant but it is way more than the limit of 2000 so I need to delete something let's just delete the background story maybe perfect oh let's just uh, remove the evolve as well but yeah, so this is the uh, prompt. I am assistant name, which is Jarvis and AI chatbot designed to be your friendly, engaging companion. So it's much detailed a version of that single line. 
perfect so after that we can create the memory type short term or no memory so memory means it can remember uh, what we have asked to it in the past and as you can see currently it doesn't have any memory because we haven't asked anything but later when we talk with that bot and come back to this platform you'll get to see the memory i'll let you know uh, after that uh, after like testing a couple of uh, questions Later, we can select the language model, the LLM you can say. So we have these many LLM options available and the fastest one is this Queen. I don't know if this I, I pronounced it correctly or not. But yeah, I'll keep it by default only. Later in the advanced setting, we have the voice recognition speed. So let's just keep it to the fastest. Character speed, speed. So you can customize a lot of things here. We do have the MCP setting as well in which we can add or connect additional services like the weather services, music services and the knowledge base. So I don't know. Uh, okay, so the, these are the available services. Out of them, three is selected and two is not available. Maybe it's available in the advanced version only or the commercial version. Okay, so this is also a great add-on to this. And uh, I'll click on the save button. It will save the personality. And after saving it, you just need to press the reset button on the board and it will be, you know, transformed into the personality that we have given here. Let's try and test it out. Jarvis. Hello. It's great to hear from you. How can I assist you today? What is your name? My name is Jarvis. Nice to meet you. How can I help you today? What's the weather today in Ahmedabad, Gujarat? Hmm. It seems there was a mix-up with the location. The weather data I received is for Indian River Shores, Florida, not Ahmedabad in Gujarat. Let me try again to get the correct weather for Ahmedabad, Gujarat. I'm not sure why it is not fetching up the data for my city or my state. But yeah, this is working and it's pretty fast as you can see. It's it's like talking with, an, with a human being, okay? Jarvis, go to sleep. Go to sleep. So it's kind of always listening mode. Oh, once we wake it up with the uh, wake up command, it's always listening and we can interrupt in between. We can ask anything. Okay. And when you want uh, this bot to not listen, we can just tell them that go to sleep and it will not listen anymore. Okay. And we also get the emojis for different, different emotions. So this is also a great feature added in the Xiaoji uh, AI firmware. So now as I ask a couple of things, let's just uh, refresh this page and let's have a look over uh, the memory section. So as you can see, it got a uh, memory. I met someone who asked me my name, introduced myself as Jarvis, inquired about the weather in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, and yeah, as you can see, this is the memory that it stored based upon the uh, based upon our conversation. Interesting. And not only that, we can also get uh, the you know line by line chat history. So you can click on chat history click here and as you can see this kind of a whatsapp chat you can say so i get this kind of history as well which you can refer if you want to get the answer which you asked in the past so this is i don't know uh, how long uh, they provide this chat history but yeah it's available here in the agent section only and yeah it's that easy to create your own ai chat bot using the sauchi ai firmware onto a uni hiker k10 board and now let's try to ask a couple of interesting voice based questions and vision based questions as well let's try it out okay so now we are good to go to test this out so right now it is running on a battery and let's first test out the voice assistant demo jarvis hello i'm here ready to chat or help with whatever you need how can i assist you today can you tell me current weather status of mumbai the current weather in Mumbai is 34 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies and 50% humidity. Perfect. Jarvis. It feels like 35 degrees Jarvis. Celsius. And Who is the current uh, Prime Minister of India? The current Prime Minister of India is okay. Narendra Modi. Can you play some music? Sure. Would you like me to play some music? What kind of song or genre are you in the mood for? Play any rock music. I found a few songs, but there aren't any rough tracks available. Would you like me to play something else, like a calming melody or a popular tune instead? Mm, sure, play any song. Okay. So that was the voice assistant demo and we tested out the, uh, what you can say, external APIs as well, like the weather APIs and uh, uh, what you can say, music APIs. And yeah, it seemed to be working fine and the latency is very, very less. And it's only fair that I tell you 
I just love this. Okay, Jarvis, go to sleep. All right, I'll power down for now. Okay, Sweet so now. Dreams and wake me whenever sorry. you need me. Okay, so now let's test out the Vision Assistant demo. Okay, so now it's time to test out the vision-based AI assistants, and for that, uh, on the board I have put a basic max equation. So let me ask this uh, AI chatbot if it can solve it perfectly or not. Jarvis, how can I assist you today? Take a picture and solve this equation. Okay, took the picture and the answer is this minus five nine five four. Let's wait for the, the AI. The on the whiteboard is thirty seven plus nine minus one hundred twenty five times forty eight. Following the order of operations, multiplication mm. comes first. One hundred twenty five wow, times forty eight. Wow, it is explaining the complete process. Then thirty seven plus nine equals forty six. Finally, forty six minus six thousand equals minus five thousand nine hundred fifty. So the answer is minus five thousand nine hundred. Perfect. Let me know if this is part of a practice problem. So let's move with the other things. question. Jarvis, take a picture and tell me which laptop is this. Okay, took the picture. Let's wait for the answer. The laptop has an Apple logo on the back, so it's definitely a MacBook. While I can't see the exact model, it looks like a modern MacBook based on the design. Let me know if you'd like help with anything else. Perfect. Let's move on with the other question. Jarvis, take a photo and tell me which bike is this. The bike in the photo is a Royal Enfield. The brand name is clearly visible on the fuel tank, and it has that classic, timeless design Royal Enfield is known for. Let me know if you'd like to know more about it. Perfect. So yeah, that was the AI voice and vision assistant test on our Unihiker board running the Shaochi AI firmware. Now the thing which impresses me the most is of course the latency. First of all, it's super low latency. It really feels like talking with a human. Secondly, uh, we haven't written any single line of code for making this uh, AI chatbot. And also, we haven't made different different accounts on different different platforms for getting like speech to text, text to speech, and LLM APIs. Rather, we haven't you know fetched any API keys as well by just making a one single account on Shaochi dot me cloud platform and putting out what kind of model we want. We have made this complete chatbot super easy to make. Yet. It got super powerful features like the latency is low. First thing, secondly, we can access other services like playing music, getting the weather information, asking about jokes, stuff like that. Okay, and maybe uh, in the advanced version we get way more thing. But still, the free version got a lot of things to explore and a lot of things to showcase to someone. It's a really good uh, platform, and this hardware is really good for this kind of uh, this kind of project. So that's how you can easily flash the Shaochi AI firmware into the Unihiker K10 board to make your own AI chatbot. And now, if you want to try this project out, well, you can get this Unihiker K10 board from our website techasms.com, which is available at the very affordable price point. It will be delivered straight at your doorstep. And later, you can try out the Shaochi AI firmware or maybe build your own firmware for your custom AI projects. I'll leave its purchase link down in the description of this video. And while exploring this Shaochi AI firmware, I found out that it is. Not just built for this ready product like Unihiker K10, but we can also use this firmware for our own custom hardware as well, like an ESP32 development board. So we are definitely trying to build our own hardware, and later we'll try to use that Shaochi firmware, and we'll see if that works or not. So if you want to watch out that video, make sure you subscribe the channel to get notified whenever we upload that video. And yeah, with that being said, I'm just ending this video here, and now just wait for my next video until the next. Explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.